Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Both ramps exist to make launching a watercraft easier because many vehicles don't have the waiting depth to drive straight into the water. If you need to see an example of what not to do, then watch the farce as three people try to use a Peugeot 206 to put a jet ski into the water from the beach. Things don't get off to a good start. Despite there being nothing but water behind the Peugeot, the driver struggles to maneuver the trailer into it. As the hatchback begins to back up, you can notice another issue. The personal watercraft sits fairly high on the trailer, meaning the car has to be submerged nearly to the top of the wheel wells to make the jet ski float. They successfully get the watercraft away from the car, but that's when bigger problems begin. The 206 is now in deep water and struggles to drive back onto dry land. Waves slam into the back of the car. One of the guys helping in the process starts trying to push the vehicle toward the shore. At about this time, the driver gets out and begins helping to push the car. The headlights and emergency flashers are now off at this point. We can't tell for sure, but these factors suggest the engine stalled. A supportive passerby runs into the frame to help push the Peugeot. The video ends with the car nearly out of the water. Meanwhile, the guy on the jet ski is just bobbing along in the background. He's probably wondering how he's going to get the watercraft home since the 206 might be flooded. Even if the car is fine, the owner likely doesn't want to go into the water again after so many problems the first time. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.